And obviously the biggest one was the Stacks 2.1 came out, which is such a, uh, I call it the monster release. Like I think definitely more than 12 months, probably even a lot more than that of work uh, went in, into it. It's a pretty, pretty major thing. There have been some developments recently in the Stacks ecosystem. Um, Stacks 2.1 recently went live, as well as the Hero platform. Can you share more about some of these updates? Yeah, I think there have been a bunch of updates that uh, are very, very exciting. Uh, those who don't know, um, I actually serve on the board of Hero, um, and so I have a direct connection to that company. I think I think Hero, in my view, is um, one of the best kind of like dev tooling and infrastructure companies for Bitcoin period. Uh, they're definitely doing a lot more work on Bitcoin L1 now, and not not just the, the stacks layer. And I think that's very obvious for them. Like it's a, it's a dev tooling company, it's an infrastructure company. Uh, they actually moved into the ordinal space. They have an API for ordinals, which I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out to be the most reliable, scalable API service for ordinals. And they launched a beautiful explorer for ordinals. Uh, uh, you can check it out at ordinals.hero.so. And um, I think it's it's really, really well done. Again, I'm biased. As I said, I serve on the board of the company, but uh, I think it's really well done. Uh, it's it's uh, It gives you like almost like a new lens into ordinals. You can sort by uh, rare satoshis you can actually visualize things in new ways and again given their expertise is actually scalable infrastructure um, they can actually take the traffic uh, as as our nodes like can continue to grow uh, similarly hero also launched a uh, the hero platform that's a product i'm personally very excited about the engineer and geek in me is like super excited about this because uh, what it does is it enables anyone to just start writing smart contracts uh, just from their web browser. Right? It's a completely hosted platform, makes it super easy, just make an account, uh, you get your IDE and you can actually start programming right in the web browser. All of the complexity of like setting up environments, um, uh, compiling things and whatnot, like it's just taken care of, right? And so it's right there. So right now it supports clarity uh, with the stacks layer, but you can imagine that they can keep expanding new things they can keep adding whatever uh, functionality that, that comes out down the road. Um, so right now you can publish to testnet or you can directly publish to the stats mainnet uh, from uh, from the platform, which is like, you should just have to try it out if you're a developer. Uh, you might have noticed that companies like uh, like um, RepWeb, they are gaining a lot of users. I think they, I believe they have something like 20 million developers on, on, on the platform. So this is definitely, when, whenever you make it really easy for people to program stuff. Like uh, you know, the productivity of developer goes up. A lot of like new people enter. I think it's generally very healthy for the ecosystem. And I haven't seen something like this even in the rest of the industry to have like such nice dev tools in the Bitcoin ecosystem are just amazing. Right? So imagine once SBTC comes out, uh, people can just program Bitcoin uh, in, in this web uh, platform and just deploy it directly uh, from there. And I think that's gonna be just the next level of like when people realize that Bitcoin is money, but it's also programmable money and it's so easy to program and they can just do it through, through the web platform. So I'm super excited about that product release as well. And obviously the biggest one was the Stacks 2.1 came out, which is such a, uh, I call it the monster release. Like I think definitely more than 12 months, probably even a lot more than that of work uh, went in, into it. It's a pretty, pretty major thing. Uh, I think probably the, the largest delta increase in terms of like code changes happening um, since the, since the mainnet launch. So there are like tons of new features. Uh, Clarity language got a lot of um, upgrades. Obviously uh, the stacking contract was completely revamped. There's a new one, which means that if you have been stacking all the, all the SDX are unlocked now and people could sort of have to redo it. But now uh, there are many kind of like new function, uh, new features, like you can easily just do continuous stacking. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can actually delegate out in certain new ways. And I think, I think that makes things uh, really easy for people as well. And you, you're, you'll get uh, more decentralized mining pools uh, along with support for bridges uh, with Stacks 2.1 as well. And that's just like the top list of like three, four features. You should actually go and check it out. And that, that thing is live. Uh, on one mainnet now, which is obviously very exciting to see. Well, thank you everyone so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here, Manib. 
uh, please make sure to like this video, make sure you're subscribed for more content like this, and let us know if you have any questions or comments below. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks a lot.